I am El Cid. I do uh, calligraphy. It's a mix of Arabic calligraphy and graffiti. I started graffiti in the late 90s in Paris, where I grew up. I started learning Arabic in 2000, and then around 2004, I discovered Arabic calligraphy. I came to North America, and this is where I started like developing my own style, where I mixed uh, Arabic script with graffiti. Graffiti it's take its root from hip hop, and uh, the roots of hip hop is to bring social change, you know, and elevate people as well. That's the point of graffiti today. I try to get that into my work, you know, like having this part of social change and how art and culture can change people and change the way of thinking. I think I never learned how to do calligraphy. I didn't take classes. If you take the proper Arabic calligrapher definition, I'm not a calligrapher because I don't respect any rules of the classical Arabic calligraphy. There's so many like contradictory aspects of what I do. Like being an artist and a Muslim, some people think maybe you cannot, you know, and you bring Arabic and graffiti together, you know, and, uh, and that's the funny thing, you know, when you listen to people, it looks like there is a, a big lack of education on the subject, and uh, we need to e educate them on that, I think. I was asked to go paint to a, like a small village cl close to uh, Disneyland in Paris. The city gave some authorization to this organization to have all the wall of the city to be painted. Some uh, resident of the city said, OK, you can paint on my house as well. And when the guy saw that I was painting in Arabic, he was like, oh, come on, don't do that, stop that. I don't want that in my wall. And he started like, cursing and saying some bad words. And uh, so two weeks later, I came back to Paris. He said there is a wall from the city just in front of the house of the guy. And I said, OK, I'm going to write something different. And I was going to say, uh, on your face, you know, a la Wajrak. And uh, then I, I said, you know, let's be more mature than this guy, so I'll write like after Hegel, but like means uh, open your heart. Like during Ramadan, I went to my home city, Gabes in Tunisia, and I was looking for a wall, and the organization I was working with found, you know, the, that the minaret of Gabes was not painted, and actually it was like that since 94. I tried to make my work relevant to the place where I, I paint, so I, I tried to write some Quranic verse on it, and I picked a verse from Surat al hujurat who said, Oh, humankind, we have created you from a male and a female and made you people and tribes so you may know each other. So the point actually was to inspire people to come back together. I hope now people will make a step toward each other. Uh, this one actually it says, we don't write what we want, but what we can. It's just a reflection on what's going on now around the world after the movie Innocence of Muslim and the caricature that they made in France as well. People can perceive it in two different ways. So we always like conditioned by a kind of political, social, economical pressure like above us that don't allow us to say whatever we want. And at the same time, we cannot say whatever we want if our goal is just to provoke people, you know. It would be more interesting to ask people about their thought by trying to create a dialogue, you know, unless uh, coming with some like uh, made-up ideas. I don't represent anybody. I just speak for myself. I don't work for a political agenda, you know, like I'm like independent, so I just do what I feel is right. Ah, it's a need, maybe. And even a duty maybe to show that Arab and Muslim in general, we have like culture, we have art, and we can push ourselves into that, you know, and it's kind of breaking all the stereotypes that you have on the mainstream media. It motivates me in a way, but that's not the only motivation, you know. I just do it because I like it, that's it. I mean, I love it. And that's the point of coming here, painting a wall that nobody gonna see in real. Maybe this wall, like tomorrow, will be like crossed by somebody else. So I think the answer is here.